Web application firewall is good but not perfect solution for protecting websites. It's the defense framework made by request filtering rules. But those rules could be very simple and easily bypassable. Let's explore common defenses against SQL injection specifically and the ways to overcome them. Once again, I will use the same setup as in previous web application firewall bypass video. If you've missed that one, feel free to check it out. I have made playlists just for WAF bypasses, as I will be adding more techniques along the way. This time I will be using testphp, vulnweb.com website as an example and Cloudflare firewall in the middle as proxy. Still, I have left out previous block, block rules, uh, like filtering by IP address, by country, and by certain query strings. Since we have limit of five rules, let's delete IP and country block rules and edit naive rule. As you can see, it just takes URL query string, converts all characters to lowercase, and compares it against the string script. It will block a limited amount of XSS queries that contain script tags. We will be replacing this for blocking certain SQL injection queries. For instance, we could block words like select, union, etc. But before that, let's go to the terminal and check the offensive side. I have split my terminal in two as I will be using two common tools for SQL injection. One tool is pretty much known by the most pen testers. SQL map. Another is less known but also pretty good, Gauri. Both of those are pretty good for automating SQL injections. Ideally, you want to pass HTTP request as a file or URL query string to one of those tools. In my experience, SQL map is more aggressive on network but it's more faster. The drawback of it, your IP could be blocked easily if you are not careful. Firstly, let's try seeing how SQL map works on our WAF proxy website, uh, kit.uk. As you noticed, it immediately gave me 403 error and identified the cloud layer. This happened because SQL map uses its own user agent out of the box. It's pretty annoying feature since you need to specify random agent flag every time just to not show like its own user agent. On the other hand, Gauri do not need that. It's time to finally hunt for SQL injections. We will firstly use SQL map, but with random agent flag. If you followed me on X, you might have seen that I've shared certain SQL map commands. Uh, one command in particular that's pretty interesting is for uh, crawling websites. That's right, SQL map could also be used as a crawler. Let's try using SQL map crawler command on the original website, which is not under web application firewall. As it's intentionally vulnerable website, it should be very easy to find SQL stuff even by using this feature. The U specifies the target uh, URL. Random agent picks up random user agent that looks like a regular user's browser. Crawl free specifies how deep the crawler would go, the link depth. Forms will tell SQL map that this tool could also try putting data into put, post, or any other request found on HTML forms. Uh, keep in mind that uh, this one could be pretty dangerous if you are testing on authenticated flow. I generally use this when I see login forms and try to bypass them using SQL map, but with depth of only one. Uh, host name and current DB I will use those to validate if SQL injection was successful. I will, it will show me the host name of SQL server and the database used for web application. Uh, the smart flag should not be used often, but when I know that there is intentionally vulnerable app, it will be good enough. It will basically only for doing SQL injections if heuristic checks will tell the tool that there is a high chance of vulnerability. So let's run it. Let's 
So yeah, it has successfully exploited the database. We can see the current database and the host name. Uh, also, we can see the types of SQL injection available for the endpoint. Later, we will check from the defensive side how these te uh, techniques are being blocked and how we can bypass those blocks. We can also check which parameter is vulnerable. In this case, it's cat as the category. Lastly, we will copy this endpoint since we will be using it throughout this video. Let's run SQL map again, but only for that specific endpoint replaced with def proxy with random agent. We will also try to use technique equals t to try time based attack. We can see right now that the attack was also successful. The time based method truly went well, but Let's imagine a scenario. The cybersecurity team saw those requests and decided to deploy simple WAF rules. There are a lot of requests containing the word sleep, so let's try blacklisting it. In this case, it will just check URL query. Uh, will contain either lowercase or uppercase string of sleep. And if we try running this again from the attack side, we will notice that we will get blocked. If we try running same stuff with Gauri, it will also probably be blocked. Okay, I was pretty wrong. Gauri somehow managed to bypass those naive restrictions. When trying to bypass some basic rules, I suggest listing tamper scripts for SQL map. As we know, it will just filter out lowercase and uppercase sleep strings, so using random case tamper script might work. Let's see it in action. We can see that this kind of tampering works for pretty basic rules. Usually there will be more smarter rules like uh, this one right here. It will convert everything to lowercase and only then compares to the string. If we deploy it, our tamper script won't work this time. Let's try using flush session since it got session from previous run. Well, to my surprise, SQL map tried another word benchmark, so it worked. Let's add it as well and try again. And finally, it has failed to fully exploit. And the next tampering script that we should try for sleep payloads, especially, is char encode. This might work this time. This time it has worked. What we learned so far is to check available tamper scripts and depending on the situation, what the tool outputs to us, we need to select tampering script accordingly. This time tamper char encode worked. This time we have explored which tampering techniques might work against time-based SQL injections. We saw that Gauri tool also works for pretty naive WAF rules. Ideally, you want to use mix of both SQL map and Gauri. For the second part, we will explore other SQL injection 
web application firewall bypass techniques for error, boolean and union based attacks. Let me know down in the comments what you personally use to bypass web application firewall. And as always, thank you for watching and feel free to use those techniques what you have learned.